Herbicides can be extremely beneficial in controlling serrated tussock. However, they should not be relied on as the sole method of control. Herbicides used for the control of serrated tussock may cause damage to non-target species, including native vegetation and grasses. It's important to understand what other vegetation is present and assess the level of risk of non-target damage. Aerial spraying should only be considered for large infestations where ground application is not practical or possible due to difficult to access terrain. For example, in steep gullies and gorges, on steep slopes, in rocky landscapes. Aerial spraying can be a cheaper alternative in difficult to access areas, such as escarpments and difficult terrain. Landholders are encouraged to seek assistance from their local landcare representative and coordinate with neighbouring landholders to help share the costs of control programs. Aerial spraying should only be undertaken by registered aerial contractors who have the necessary skills, experience, qualifications and equipment. The application of chemicals from the air using a helicopter or fixed-wing aircraft poses a significant risk of chemical spray drift, where tiny chemical droplets can remain suspended in the air and travel long distances in the wind away from the target area. Before spraying, registered contractors must closely monitor weather conditions and be acutely aware of potential risks of spray drift to nearby properties. Under Victorian legislation, there are controls on the use of agricultural chemicals and it is the responsibility of the user to be familiar with this legislation. Some chemicals require the user to hold an agricultural chemical user's permit, choose only products registered for use in your situation and always read the label and follow the instructions carefully.